time is now 738. Welcome back to go. OK, we are counting down to tomorrow's total solar eclipse. And right now we want to prepare you for what to expect when the dark where the sky goes dark and joining us this morning is Jay Reynolds and Joy Conley from the Cuyahoga Astronomical Association. And good morning to both of you. Hey, good morning. Hello. Thank you for being here and Joy, I wanted to tell everybody we are familiar with you because you were in one of the pieces with our own Betsy Kling. So welcome back. Now tell us, what, what did you bring here today? I just brought a telescope in as an example. There, it's also, it has a solar filter if I wanted to view the eclipse with this. But still, the solar glasses, that's what we want to use. Yes, yes. It's more fun that way. It is. Why do you say that? Well, because you get to share, right? You get yes. to share because uh, looking through here, it's only one person at a time. But when we mm. all wear our sun, uh, solar glasses like this, we can all share in the experience. And that's really what this is coming up about. I it's, love that. Yeah, it really is. Sharing in the experience. Joy, what are you looking forward to most with the eclipse? I'm excited to see the moon block the sun. It, I think it'll be really cool. Yeah, it is going to be cool. Now, what can we all expect? I mean, we've been talking about this for, it, it seems like forever. Yeah, it <laughs> does, doesn't it? Yeah, so, uh, well, of course, uh, the moon's going to cross in front of the sun, but mm -hmm. yeah, what else is going to happen? Um, the color red will um, fade, but the green, it will like stand out more. Mm. So, so we should wear either red or green. Oh, that would be really nice. Because yeah. you, ha you have to plan your eclipse outfit. So red or green, and that will kind of make you stand out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, what? I know I have mine all planned out. Oh, you do. You have your outfit yeah, planned out. Good. I red do. is my favorite cover, <laughs> color, so that's yeah, great. Make sure you wear that. And Kai Tori, he should wear green. <laughs> okay. Now, Holly and I, and Holly has been telling people at home, we may be expecting some clouds tomorrow. So how is that going to impact the eclipse? Well, what do you think? Um, you won't be able to see the sun, but you'll definitely notice um, it's getting darker and the sunset will go really fast. Yeah. The sun, you have never seen it go from light to dark. Around here in Northeastern Ohio, mm -hmm. we have sunsets uh, like about 9.03 and then it's not dark until 10 o'clock. Here from 20 minutes to dark, is, I, and I mean dark. Wow. Especially if it's cloudy. It's still a great experience regardless. And like I said, it's something that you share. Also, something really cool. Somebody okay. just told me this um, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. In 2017, during that eclipse, okay, how the animals change and they start to bed down. They were in their backyard and the snakes all started coming out oh. of the ground. <laughs> Oh, you scared me. You scared me. No. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it's oh. kind of creepy, isn't it? It's like Halloween, oh. but yeah, the snakes, they counted 10 snakes, and that's the ones they could see. Snakes? Oh. <laughs> okay, now you then scared me about the eclipse. Good thing that I will be here in studio tomorrow <laughs> helping you with the traffic. Well, thank you two so much yeah. uh, for coming in today. I tell you, I learned a lot from both of you. Right. And I appreciate you coming back on the show as well, Joy. Mm -hmm. So you have to report back and let us know uh, how you like the clips, uh, <laughs> the eclipse tomorrow, okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Great.